I think Caligula was one of the most seminal moments in the history of Penthouse. It's an incredible piece of history, an incredible piece of Hollywood's history, actually, as well. This is the kind of film that could only have been done in the 70s, this outrageous, crazy, gonzo film of Tinto Brass, a phenomenal director. Tinto never felt that what hit the screen was his, and consequently, he sued to have his name taken off of it. And in fact, you will not find a cut of Caligula, any version of Caligula anywhere that says directed by Tinto Brass. Today, it's been almost 10 years since I first became interested in Tinto Brass' original intentions for Caligula. I wrote my thesis at Stuttgart Media University just about Tinto's ideas for Caligula, about reconstructing them, using all kinds of different versions of the screenplay I could find from all kinds of different archives, behind the scenes footage, behind the scenes photos, some transcripts of lines as spoken on the set. And today, we are closer than ever during the past 40 years to actually release a version of the film edited in accordance with Tinto Brass' plans from the 1970s. The black and white footage you're about to see is all from Tinto Brass' 1977 work print, which has never before been publicly seen. He edited the first 84 minutes, and all the color footage has been edited by me to approximate Tinto's intentions. It's still a preliminary edit, because not a lot of the color material has been scanned, but it already shows the direction into which this reconstruction is going. Action! I think it's critical and I will help and facilitate in any way I can by trying to bring this project to life. So I want to see it done. They unlock a door and open it and inside that room were 400 boxes about to go to the dumpster by the way. Probably 48 hours away from the dumpster. 